Hello there, my name is Ismail, and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial series. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make this gaming chair in Blender 2.82. So this is, this tutorial series was requested and made with the support of David J. Eves and uh, Isaiah Eves, who are, who are some of my top uh, Patreon supporters. And uh, yes, they are enabling me to continue making these things, uh, these tutorials uh, quite easily. So yeah, let's dive in and see how we can start working on this. So as you can see that uh, this chair is uh, kind of segmented in different sections. We have this uh, back support and then these side supports, uh, the arms and everything. So we are going to model these in separate uh, steps are all as separate objects so and then maybe weld them together after so let's see how that goes so let's start by making this here uh, this back support I will just add a plane shift a uh, let me turn on my screen keys here for some reason this keeps that they keep uh, they keep turning off so I don't know let's see how it goes today so let me just also turn on random colors and cavities so that we can have a beautiful viewport shadings so let me rotate this on the x-axis by 90 degrees scale it down uh, we're going to be using uh, the mirror modifier so i'm just going to go to edit mode using tab and then ctrl r to add a, a lobe here and select these other vertices on this side using alt and then right clicking uh, left clicking on these uh, to delete them uh, using x and then can go to the modifiers and add a mirror modifier now we can now just work on this side so i'm just going to extrude move these vertices and also extrude them along uh, this segment here i'm not too worried about these middle vertices i can come back to those a bit later so we just push this up i don't even have to have those there right now so can also start extruding these along here and turn on mirror and turn on a clipping for the mirror modifier and push that like so yeah, let's see around there something like that okay and uh, now that we are done with that I can select uh, these loops here uh, these vertices so you just select this first vertex and then hold and control and then select the last vertex and everything in between will be selected then hit E to extrude and uh, since we have clipping turned on uh, it will just weld them in the middle there and uh, now we can add a few maybe a loop around here and maybe another one here to connect this vertex uh, but before we do that we can also select these loops here hit E extrude them along that edge then I can add a loop here then connect this to that this to that and uh, then this to that and start sliding these vertices around and I think I can add a loop uh, that goes here to here. So if I select this, I think I can just do this like this. And I add a loop here, Control B to bevel that, uh, so that I can split those into two vertices. Then do that. Now I can well, I can uh, turn these into faces and have something like that. up a bit something like that maybe even add a few extra loops like so now let me change this to uh, the reference image yeah so I have something to look at on this side here make sure that I'm saving all this gaming chair That's ah oh god. Let me see. 
Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, okay. So we have uh, this back, back support, uh, but uh, as you can see, it's too straight. So we need to give it a bend. And there are a few ways to do this. I can go to the front view and uh, maybe select these top boxes. Oh, let me split this as well so that I can see both sides. Then turn on proportional editing by just clicking on this button or just hit O on your keyboard. Again, my shortcuts have turned off. Let me turn them back on. Okay. Select these vertices. Push them back. Make sure you have proportional editing turned on. You can have something like that. Sometimes even if, if you rotate this, uh, you might get a better result. So I think something like that is good. And uh, I think we also need this to carve in just a bit. Or we can just use a, bend, a simple default modifier here. And I just change uh, the type to bend and uh, bend in the Z axis. Let me apply the rotation of this so that we get the right axis. Uh, but uh, instead, just bend it like this. So this is without, and this just want that curve in the middle. So let me see. Uh, something like that. I think that's good enough. Uh, okay, so it's being bent uh, straight on the x-axis, so I'm also going to stretch it back so that it aligns with our mesh or with our reference image. And uh, now I can apply this simple default modifier. Uh, I need to apply the mirror first and then the simple default modifier, and uh, then I can delete uh, this side and uh, add back the mirror modifier. So I also want uh, to realign uh, these vertices. Push them. Uh, make sure you have clipping turned on. So let me just do that. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now let's uh, do an extrusion for this side. So I'm just going to, I was planning on making this separate, but I think it would work better if I just extrude it directly from this. So I'm just going to select this vertex, turn on pro, turn off proportional editing, then start extruding these vertices to follow this edge loop. Unfortunately, I don't have our uh, uh, this side reference image. Uh, so we are just going to eyeball it and uh, see how that looks. So let me go to this side and uh, start moving these vertices uh, so that we gain uh, this shape. So I think it would come in like something like that. And uh, can bevel this vertex, control shift B, like that, and, uh, so that I have some bit of resolution there. Yeah, I think something like that, uh, I think it might be something like this, so let's see how everything looks. Let me try something here, fill grid. Let me try filling these vertices here, all these faces, this section here, using the fill grid option. So if you select two edge loops, let me select this and this. You can see I've selected these two edge loops. Uh, you can use uh, the fill grid. Just hit F3 uh, to search grid fill. 
and I can fill it uh, with uh, vertices like that. Uh, it may not, you might, you might have to tweak a few of uh, those vertices or edges uh, to get the right shape, but I think it's a good start uh, to fill in those areas. So I can now push these around so that they follow the contour of uh, the chair so that we have a smooth transition. And I think I might also have to push these just back a bit. So we have a smooth transition. Okay, I think I might also need to extend this vertex here. I'll just use the knife tool to cut that edge loop. <coughs> then let's do this like this. Then I don't need this extra edge loop. Just push it out. Let's see. So right now what I'm doing is just making sure that uh, uh, the egg loops I have kind of full uh, the carving of the chair. <coughs> and uh, what I can do here, I think I can have this, let me see, I can have uh, this loop curve around to this side. So if I connect, I can remove this vertex and uh, maybe merge this edge loop. Uh, what I want to achieve here is uh, have this edge loop continue right from, from here and go all the way to this side. So I might need to join these vertices and uh, add another vertex here or join this and this and remove this. So now what we need, I can bevel now this vertex so that this, I want this to continue all the way here. So I want to merge, should merge this, uh, so that this is a chord as well. I can see where we're going. Now this should also be merged. Uh, you always want to have continuous loops uh, like that when modeling, uh, because it makes deforming uh, the object a bit easier and uh, also makes your topology look uh, better and cleaner. So I think I can add a loop here because you can see we have an end gun here. Uh, an end gun is simply a face with more than four uh, vertices. So I need to remove that. And, uh, you can see that is what we have. So since I have added this edge loop, I think what I can also do, maybe if I even add that, uh, I want to push these uh, because you can see that this is kind of pushing out of the chair. So if I select this portion here, yeah, this portion here. Okay, before I do that, I need to join this here. Maybe first remove this vertex. So I want to select this entire section, hit I to insert it, and uh, then push it out just a bit. I will have this extra edge loop uh, that we don't need, so I will just select that using control, click, and then push that in the middle, and then delete vertices. And because I, because I have clipping turned on, it will just merge those uh, middle vertices and uh, Now you can see we have an edge loop that goes around that edge, uh, which is nice. Uh, but uh, I don't want it to be, I don't know why that's, that keeps happening. Anyway, let me end this part here. We'll continue from there in the next section, uh, just improving the, the topology. Okay.
I wasn't saving my work. Let me see if I can recover that. Okay, see you in the next in next part.